I am going to Denver tomorrow for an event, a Baltarage event that I'm hosting. Then I'm going to Miami to perform with Todd Drake. And then I'm going home for Anna's wedding. So yeah, pack with me. Okay, it is Saturday morning at like 6 a.m. and I am flying to Denver for our Denver event. Here's all my stuff. I don't know who needs to hear this, but the Burbank Airport is literally so much better than LAX. Like I will pay 1,000 times as much money to fly out of Burbank. It's like so quiet and easy. Got right through there. Now I'm gonna get myself a little snack, maybe a coffee and a water. Right. It's so bright and cheery here, but I heard that it's cold. Oh, I need to put the light on my phone, but I feel like that's so extra walking to the airport with that. So you guys are getting the bad lighting. But yeah, I'm super tired and have a long ass day and night and day tomorrow. So come along for the damn ride. Hey guys, we secured the bag of the coffee that needs to bring me back to life. But I literally can't hold my phone and wheel my bag and drink my coffee at the same time. So, gotta go. Bye. Who's arrived? <laughs> All right, guys. Me and Shafali have arrived at the venue. Hard girls at hard work, honey. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here, live in action. It's 3.59. We are waiting for the first arrival of the girlies and the ladies. Who's it gonna be? Who's it Show the fence, because you guys have that cute fence. Shabali, <laughs> handing me. <laughs> Am I gonna make this 
flight is the question. <laughs> you know, Shafali handed me my phone. He's like, do a vlog, do a vlog. We're, we're funny right now. So here we are. We just got home from the... Okay, we're going this way, guys. We just got home and also my light died. So don't be asking why the, the lighting's bad because the light died. So we just got home from the bar. Oh my God, quick elevator. And now... I'm going down to catch my Uber. And she's making her flight. Give or take. <laughs> if I make this flight, honey. Jenna stayed at the bar this long, but you know, the price you pay for a good time, honey. I'll be saying that if I make it on this flight. Okay, I'm literally the only one on this entire train. Um, okay, I'm like, is this going to the right place? I feel like I'm in New York. I'm stressed. I also finessed my way. That bag is supposed to be checked, and I told them that. Um, the front gate told me that I wouldn't miss my flight, so they told me to just bring it through and check it at the gate. So, girl, the next 10 minutes is very telling of how my next two days are going to go. Also three days, like my best friend's wedding next, is next week, and her bridesmaid dress is in this thing. It's in this suitcase. Like, it has to come with me. Time will tell, honey. Yay. <laughs> it's vlogging time! We've arrived! Alright guys, we are at the venue, BTM, backstage. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it guys? Too early! <laughs> Period. We are walking home to get some food and then we have rehearsal breakfast. and breakfast and then our show is tonight. If you're in the Miami area, actually this isn't even going to be posted until way later. But if you're in the area tonight, come through for the LGBTQ. And I was diagnosed with alopecia, which is an autoimmune disease that means your hair falls out. So I'm going to get some hair removal and then I'm going to get some hair removal. And then I'm and what do you know? Within three weeks, I was fired because of all the ball patches. Pour it up, bartender Aishi. It is the last day in Miami. I had a show. We had the show last night, and now I'm laying in my bed. In my bathing suit because I'm about to go out of the pool, I think, for the last couple days or hours. Everybody else flew back to LA, so I'm here by myself. I'm flying to Philly for Anna's wedding. She's getting married next weekend, so, well, actually, this weekend. So, we're getting our nails done, spray tans, all the things this week, and I'm so excited. Last night's show was so fun. I hope that I have some sort of like clips it was so busy and chaotic and so hectic backstage that i could not film just because the show is so intense but hopefully i have some um little videos to show you guys Shut up! <laughs> Look! I literally saw her and I'm like, that woman, that beautiful woman has all be shut and she's rocking it. I got her while we were away or we like, wouldn't have connected. If you were wearing a wig, we would have never connected. Can you believe this, y'all? Like, I follow her and I just want to come like... <laughs> it's meant to be. Look, I'm, 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 I'm star-studded right now. I'm star-studded right now because it's... Oh my God. <laughs> I love you, sis, but you're the best. Harry. Hey, are you so happy to see me? What are you saying? Can I have a kiss? Harry. Hey. Hi, Harris. Are you my cutie? Are you my cutie? Can we say hi? Say hi, Hair. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Give me a kiss. I missed you. I am at Michael's getting um, a scrapbook for Anna for her wedding. 
I printed out all these pictures. Couldn't be bothered to, well, I actually wanted to just warm up. Bianca, honey. But yeah, these are the pictures, they're my purse. And I'm finding her a little scrapbook for her wedding. Also, do you hear the song? California girls. That's me. My hometown, Michael. California girl. Okay guys, as you all know, my best friend's getting married and she just moved into a, house, into a house this year and I'm at her house. I have her little present, which I was making yesterday and I'm so excited for her to see it and for me to see this house of hers. And then we're having a whole glam day. Hi, Hi, Anna. I'm from Vogue 20, 43 Questions. Can I come in? Come on in. Would you like something to drink? <laughs> I'm supposed to ask the questions. Sure. Thank oh, you. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to my home. Okay. So this is like my kitchen, my living room. This is my dog. <laughs> okay. First question. What's your dog's name? His name is Chase. He gets very excited when we have company. Cute. He loves company. What's your favorite color? Um, pink. Okay. This and is my kitchen. Do you want to ask me what my favorite part of my kitchen is? Sure. <laughs> What's your favorite part of your kitchen? My spice drawer. I love my spice drawer. Oh, shit. I have any spice you need, probably. If not, I'm going to go get it. All right, let's test her, guys. Do you have cumin? Oh, too easy. Stop with that. All right, she has cumin. Do you have um, red peppers? Oh, Anna Giacomucci, of course. <laughs> this goes with my cereal. All right, she passed the test. Okay. All right, what's your least favorite part of your kitchen? Um, that we, I don't have a deck yet, but eventually. Ooh, it's gonna look good. Yep. Okay, where are we going to next? Um, so you saw my living room area. This is like where you can hang out, have a cup of tea, a cup of wine, like whatever you wanna do, you know, just. Do it any, any drug you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then we come down here. This is a safe space, you know, be who you are at home. <laughs> this is Cute. my family room. Hang out, relax. Oh, it's a little messy from my dog. Okay, next question. What's your favorite quote? Uh, my favorite quote is probably... Something, you know, I can't think of it one off my head, but definitely something off the lines of like being yourself because I just want to be myself and like everyone should <laughs> do what they want to do. Do what makes them happy. Okay. okay. Here's my fireplace. Oh, show it. Woo. Cozy. Cozy. Okay. Next question. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about yourself? Um, that I typically can get along with everyone. I uh, find something to connect with someone all the time. I love that. Okay, what's this room? My little makeup room. Cute. I have some work to do, but this is like the status. I'm going to like put some bookshelves, nice carpet. You know, this is a very, got to do a few last touches here. Okay, next question. How long have you lived in this house? So we just did it in March, so that's why we still have some stuff to do. This is the basement, that's boring, I won't show you that, but it is finished. Then this is a little mud room. He's gonna follow us everywhere, of course. <laughs> Next question, how old's Chase? He is three and he is born on the 4th of July. <gasps> he's an American baby. He's a very patriotic pup. <laughs> uh, this is a little powder bath, we're doing with green accents, blue. We love the interior design so here. So cute in there. Suji interior design, anyone in Pennsylvania. Plugger. Okay, next question. If you could travel anywhere in the whole entire world, where would you go? Uh, Italy, again, 100%. Ooh, what I've part already, of Italy? I would go north. I've already been to the coast, but that was the most magical place ever. So that is where I would just go continuously and have a visa there. Time for me to leave. Last question, Anna. 
Just the last question. How much do you love your bestie? The best in the whole wide world. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> no way. Oh my gosh. Show the people. Oh, they see it. Sister, it's not 11 a.m. on a Wednesday. All right, guys, we are on route to Anna's wet, uh, rehearsal dinner. We need the light, but we're really running super late because the traffic got. This is Kelly, my bestie from home. We have known each other since we were literally five. <laughs> and now we're going to celebrate Anna's wedding. Stay tuned, we heard it's an open bar. <laughs> She's ready. She's rehearsing ready, honey. See ya! Okay, guys, it's the night before Anna's wedding. And all the girls are going to her hotel room to do face masks, maybe drink some wine, have ourselves a little girls pampering spa night before the big day. So come with us, about to knock on her door, and you guys will see the queen, the bride herself. Look at the sunlight, honey. What in Pennsylvania? Do us the Pennsylvanians. So cute. Same, I really like them. Bianca is out and here for the gods. No one can call me Christy today. You have to call me Bianca. All right, come along as we go get ready. He's got his cheetah collar on. Your cheetah sneakers. We're ready. Cheetah We're ready. Wawa, I love you. You're not from the East Coast, like Northeast. Oh, it's actually in Florida, so. You probably don't know what Wawa is, so come on. <laughs> All right guys, I'm in my hometown and I'm going to meet a little girl. Well, she's not even little, she's 14 and she's in my conference club. She also is from Pennsylvania. So I'm on my way to meet her and her family for lunch. Come along with me. Hey girl! Where are the I feel extremely vulnerable when I teach without a wig on or something on my head. So I create a space or I strive to create a space that everyone feels comfortable to express themselves and vulnerable and sexy and all the things that we want to feel as women. So let yourself go, let go of the expectations tonight and just have fun and freak your little freak and have and, and feel good about yourself. That's what it's about. Less about perfecting the choreo and more about expressing yourself and feeling good in your own skin. So we're going to go around he and say our name and um, something really quick that you love about yourself. The first thing that comes to your mind. I'm Tipsy and I love my resilience. I'm Nikki and I love my free spirit. Yes. Yes. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cynthia, um, a lot of people call me Z, and I love my slowly growing confidence. <laughs>
Next stop, New York City. Most things in New York City. To have ourselves a day, guys. Me and my mom, she's back on the vlog. <laughs> Let's test her out. Woo! <laughs> What the it's heck is that? <laughs> 10 out of 10. I know my mom was on the vlog last week in LA, but now we're in New York. All right, guys, I'm bringing my mom to my favorite place of all time. It's called Walk to Walk. <laughs> and it's literally nothing bougie or cool, but it's the best food ever. Okay, so my mom and I got tickets from this random man. We, like, went to this, like, ticket area. It's fine. And we went to this, we were, like, looking at the discount of tickets, and this guy comes up to us and is like, I have two tickets for Neil Diamond. And my mom, literally 30 minutes before that, I was like, I really want to see Neil Diamond on Broadway. A beautiful noise. So we're like, okay, you have two tickets up. We'll take them. So here we are, about to get in line. Moments away from seeing if these tickets that we just gave this man all this cash for <laughs> will work. <laughs> Time will tell, honey. But it says that we have we front row. Here. Yeah, we do. Front row. So we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, have the tickets ready. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Yep. Two tickets. We're in. We're in. We are in, guys. It worked. We're in. We are in, honey. All right, wait till you see these seats. Oh my god. All right, let's see, guys. We're walking to the front of the thing. He said, follow me. Here we go. No way. Here, leave the seats further off towards the end. Thank you. Thank you. No way. <laughs> no. Oh, fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's kind of on the side, but it's okay, right? Oh, we're in the front. Oh, we're in the front row, guys. We're in the front row.